So when I found this house, I thought the man who showed it to me had lost his mind. It was so ugly. I came down the street and I said, I can't find number 16. And he said, it's on the left. And I said, there's nothing on the left except for a hut. And he said, and he was standing in this little garden. And I came in and I was forced down a horrible passage into a sitting room, which well, you couldn't sit opposite the fireplace. The fireplace was ugly. There was no redeeming feature until I went up the stairs and the window of the bedroom was facing a magnolia tree that was in full bloom. And that's the moment when I thought, we've got to make this work. So I offered what they wanted, which was very affordable at that time in this area, which was another plus. So we had the magnolia tree and the price, which was going for it, nothing else. But I did know that I could dig a basement here. So I knocked basically the whole thing down. And I realized that the ground floor could make a very good entertaining space, kitchen, dining area, living area, and I moved the front door. Therefore, I was able to enclose the front garden, which made it private, and I had a little garden at the back. So when I sit here, I just look at greenery and gardens and little courtyards, which is really all I want for a garden for London. I just fling the doors open, and there it is, and it's just heaven. Come down. We're going to go downstairs. Are you too sleepy? Come on. Oh. Come on. See ya, we're going out is. Come on, Donnie. Come on. See ya. that our paths finally cross in London. I know, I'm so excited to have you actually in my house. Because we usually see each other in the US. Exactly. So thank you so okay. much. Welcome. So can I give you a drink? It's too early for vodka. So okay, with a little water. I would love that. And I think I read somewhere, Nina, where you believe very strongly to have the bar right in the entry. Well, I do, because I think whatever time of day, it's quite nice to get a drink before you then join the group, you know? And then you know, also, you sort of think, oh, thank God, I'm going to get a drink. That's I'm not going to be dry, you know. What do you think of my new... I've just come back from Il Sur Sog, and this is my latest little flea market Oh, find. it's an ice it's bucket. An ice bucket, yeah. Well, I'm obsessed with owls, and that is just delightful. I love this little area. I'm going to start... This is going to be the beginning of a collection, I think, because I know that you can find other animals. And I know you love animals. Yeah. So come in, Susanna. What was really important for me in this house was enough space to entertain, because I, I constantly entertain. I, I enjoy it. I wrote this book um, on Elsie de Wolfe, and do you remember her book called The Little House of Many Mirrors? Of course. So that was hugely the influence here. Yes, because I am seeing, for example, here, yeah. little... Yeah. This is obviously quite a lot of mirrors, but even over by the bar area in the entrance, there's a little slivers of where you inset it. Well, you're right, because... The, the only other thing that was sort of possible here when I came into this house was that they had put a horrible cheap mirror on that wall, but it did reflect the garden, and that's what made me think, when I knock it down, I, I must remember mirrors there. And then I found those two in an antique shop, so I got those, and then I did this screen. And what's so lovely, when I come home, I see that mirror, and that mirror reflects my garden, so the minute I arrive in this house, it's... You're aware of the tranquility yes. and garden, and it's a little, not a tree house, it's a garden house, really. I think we should pay more attention to ceilings in our decorating because in this room it's a low ceiling and I couldn't make it any higher so I did a lacquer finish and it lifts the whole room and in fact I've just done it I've just done the bar at the Beaumont and I've done exactly the same thing and it just makes all the difference and you get lovely reflections so I needed this the whole of this space open but I had this friend in Paris who told me that uh, who's, who engraves glass, he's called Guillaume Salberg. And I always dreamt of having a wall of his. And I was going to do two, co two sides and uh, an opening in the middle, rather sort of classic English. And he came along, at first of all, he's ravishingly good looking. And he said, no, no, I want it all open. And so we slid the door in, we, it's all a surprise. Because when I give a dinner, I like to um, keep the table a little bit secret. Oh, so this is shut when people arrive. So when people arrive and the light dances through. 
So clever. This is such a great idea for city living. Isn't it? Of course, it feels almost like you're in the country here, but we are in the city. We are in the city. And, and then, then look how much space it creates. This is fabulous. Look at this. And then you're and in then a you're separate here. area and here. And this cupboard was designed for me by my friend William Yearwood, and it hides all my china and glass. Well, it hides. I mean, it just houses. Oh, Because wow. I've got a bit of a... You really do like to entertain, yes. Nina. And this is the green section, and then that's purples and amethyst. Okay, Stacy's going to have to go back and look at this more closely because she's obsessed with amethyst glassware. And then here, I can't remember what's in this one. Yes, this is all the... And this is kind of giant. fun. So when your guests are sitting here, if they don't have, if they're not fascinated by their dinner partner, they can look at themselves. <laughs> exactly. Well, and when you're in here, you look out into more garden, you see through the kitchen. It's so beautiful. And it's a casual house. See, I have had people who live in far larger houses here, and they come here and they absolutely love it because there's something. Also, I like a narrow table. So if you you can talk across it and all yeah. around, it's not that very formal either side and. You know, all of that. What I also think is fun about here is that the only areas when you walk in are for entertaining, yeah. and you've got your bedroom quarters upstairs, and you dug deep, you told me, and you've got your guest room downstairs, yes. so it's completely private. So These are the only rooms up here. That's right. And so if people come to stay, they sort of have an own, their own private area. And I've constantly got people coming to stay, which is lovely. And we meet for breakfast, and then we're in a city, and we go our own way. So I just want to tell you about this. This is where I had the dog paws measured. So they weren't going to, they could walk across here very easily without falling in. So clever. Well, they are the most important people in the house. They certainly are. Don't miss another video visit. Click on the orange cue to subscribe and have Quintessence virtually delivered from our doorstep to yours.